very good day to all of you. I welcome you all to the spectroscopy class. And today we will discuss about the formation of bands in ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy. The formation of band requires a definite amount of energy, and when that energy falls upon an, upon a sample, the electrons from the ground state got excited and promoted to the next level. As you can see from this figure, we have the ground state which is denoted with zero electron state. When incident light in the UV visible range falls upon the sample, then electrons are excited to the next higher level which is denoted as E1. As you all know that electronic transition requires the highest amount of energy and therefore electronic transitions are always associated with vibrational levels and these vibrational levels are in turn associated with rotational energy levels and therefore whenever there is an electronic transition from ground state to excited state it always occurs simultaneously with a vibrational transition as well as a rotational transition so we can say that instead of electronic transition occurring only there are three types of transition occur simultaneously what are those transitions they are rotational transition vibrational transitions and the electronic transition so from ground yes, electronic level and vibrational and rotational level we have the electron will reach to the excited vibrational excited rotational and excited electronic level clear and this is the reason that instead of sharp peaks we observe broad bands in ultraviolet spectroscopy we don't get such peaks but we get these types of broad bands in ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy clear now in the ground state the electrons are paired paired means the unpaired electron is zero they have paired spin and therefore if you calculate 2 h plus 1 it is equal to 1 so we can say that in ground state the electrons are in singlet state when they are excited to the next higher level there are two possibilities either the electron retain their spin and in the excited state also they remain in the spin paired state or there is a possibility that in the excited state the electrons remains unpaired if they remain unpaired such a state is known as triplet state while if they remain paired this type of state is known as singlet state singlet state is a high energy state and therefore unstable while triplet state is more stable but a lower energy state why it is more stable because here the electrons having similar charge they are placed at in different orbitals and therefore the repulsion of electron is minimum while in case of singlet state since the electrons with same negative charge are placed in the same orbital they have very high repulsion and therefore the energy of singlet state is quite high resulting into its instability so out of these two possibilities, in UV visible spectroscopy only one possibility is allowed which is the transition from ground singlet to transition to the excited singlet so, or we can say that E0 can also be denoted as S0 because the electrons are in singlet state. So from singlet state electrons can be promoted to the singlet excited state. The transition from singlet ground state S0 to T1 excited triplet is not allowed. So from S0 to T1 is not allowed but from S0 to S1 is allowed. Clear? So upon absorption of energy of a particular wavelength of a definite wavelength electrons from the ground state will be excited from ground singlet S0 to excited singlet S1 they never go from F0 to T1 now once they got promoted from S0 to S1 then there is a possibility because singlet state as I told you is a short lived state there 
occur some type of release of energy. So from S1 there is sometimes a release of energy in the form of light and the state again changes to T1. But from F0 electrons can never go to T1 directly. They can only go from S0 to F1 and from S1 to T1. And then again from T1 when they return back to the ground state, they release energy, they emit energy and the intensity upon the intensity of that emitted light we can calculate the type of bonding, the types of electrons involved which ultimately helps us to determine the structure of the given compound. So this is all about the formation of band that bands are formed when electrons are promoted and electrons got promoted only when they got sufficient amount of light and then they got excited from ground singlet to excited singlet. Then in certain cases they come back directly from excited singlet to the ground singlet or in certain cases they first go from singlet excited to triplet excited and then return back to singlet ground state. So either this possibility or from S0 to S1 and then again directly from S1 to F0. These are the two possibilities. And from this discussion we also got to know that Formation of broad bands instead of sharp peaks is only because the electronic transitions are always occur along with vibrations as well as rotational transitions.